For this month's uh, edition of the Nude Wine Club, we're doing something really interesting. We haven't actually done this style before. We've got three wines, all from the same grape, all from the same place, but all done in completely different ways. So we have Rioja, the grape in Rioja is Tempranillo, um, well, it's predominantly Tempranillo. They all have a little splash of something else in it, normally Garnacha. But what the difference is between all three of these is how old they are and how much time they've spent in oak. So the first wine, the Grand Cerdo, no oak. It's really bright, really fruity, really light, really easy to drink. I know now it's cold enough to have the fire on, but if you were in the summer, if it was the summer, you'd have it in the fridge. The second wine is a Rioja Crianza. Crianza is like the entry level oak level of Rioja. One year in an oak barrel, one year in the bottle before it's released. So medium oak, a light kind, or lighter use of oak spicy in style and then we have a Grand Reserva and we thought we'd treat you and put in a Grand Reserva. It's such an excellent wine. It's really, um, most people only have a Grand Reserva for a special occasion or because they've given it as a gift. You wouldn't ordinarily just crack one open yourself and we thought it'd be a great excuse to have something special in your cupboard um, that you might want to open. Grand Reserva is only made in exceptional vintages. The wine um, spends two years in oak and three years in the bottle before it's released. So it's a minimum of five years old before it even makes it out of the country. Really rich, really robust, really spicy. This one is dark and chewy and really, really full bodied. They're absolutely chalk and cheese by the time you start to the time you finish. And ordinarily, I don't recommend that you open all three and do all three in one night. Of course, unless of course you have, uh, if you're having like a wine party, but if you can for these, if you can open them and try them side by side, it's really, really interesting. And you'll actually understand so much more about Rioja by the time you've done that. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to drink them all on the same night. You can finish one bottle off and then hold the rest. They'll definitely hold for quite a few days because they're so rich. Um, and in fact, the last one, the Grand Reserva, will get better with a few days being open. You'll find flavours become more intense, um, more depth, more complexity. So this is this month's uh, Nude Wine Club.